look at the key of F sharp major. We're first going to start with parallel motion in octaves. Um, F sharp major has six sharps. Now, if you remember, there's a sentence that helps us know the order of the sharps that they're written in. Um, it's uh, fat cats go down alleys eating birds. That's seven sharps in all. And this key has the first six. So fat cats go down alleys. So everything is sharped except for B. Something else you might want to keep in mind is that E sharp, which we have in this key, is F. It's the same key as F. So when you're playing this scale, you're going to use every black key and then you're going to use F, which is E sharp, and you're going to use B, which is the one note we have that is not sharped. Now, the book also recommends a different fingering than we would use, say, in the key of C. Um, and that's just to make it a little less awkward to be crossing fingers um, up to black keys and so on. But you don't have to use the different fingering. You can use the same fingering you would use in the key of C if you like. That's what I'm going to start with in this video. So, key of F sharp major scale, we're going to start on F sharp. Let's take a look at the right hand first. We're going to start on the F sharp below middle C. I'm going to start with the thumb. So we're using all the black keys. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, cross the thumb up to B, which is the only one that's not sharped. Two finger C sharp, three finger D sharp, four finger E sharp, which is the same thing as F. Now here's the awkward part if you're using the old fingering. You have to cross your thumb up to F sharp. Two finger G sharp, and then three finger A sharp, and then cross the thumb up to B. Two finger C sharp, three finger D sharp, four finger E sharp, which is F, and then pinky on F sharp. We're at the top. Let's come back down. Four finger E sharp, three finger D sharp, two finger C sharp, thumb on B, cross the three finger over to A sharp, two finger G sharp, thumb on F sharp. There's the awkward crossover. Four finger to E sharp, which is F, three finger D sharp. Two finger C sharp, thumb on B, three finger A sharp, two finger G, uh, G sharp, and thumb on F sharp. That's our right hand. Now let's do our left hand. It's also going to start on F sharp, but we're going to be two Fs below middle C. And we'll start with our five finger to keep the old fingering for now. Five finger F sharp. Four finger G sharp, three finger A sharp, two finger B, because that's the only one that's not sharped, thumb on C sharp, cross your three finger up to D sharp, two finger on E sharp, which is F, and then thumb on F sharp, cross your four finger, which is a little awkward, right, to G sharp, Three finger A sharp, two finger B, thumb on C sharp, cross the three finger up to D sharp, two finger E sharp, thumb on F sharp. Let's come back down, two finger E sharp, three finger D sharp, cross our thumb down to C sharp, two finger uh, B. Three finger A sharp, four finger G sharp, cross the thumb down to F sharp, two finger uh, F sharp, E sharp, sorry, three finger D sharp, cross the thumb down to C sharp, two finger B, three finger A sharp, four finger G sharp, five 
finger F sharp. Now, together, our thumbs are on F sharps. Then four and two, G sharp. Three and three, A sharp. Cross the right hand thumb up, and then we're going to have our two finger and thumb on C sharp, or uh, on a B. Then we have thumb and two finger on C sharp. Cross the left hand three finger up, and then we'll have three fingers on D sharp. Then four fin two finger and four finger on E sharp. Cross the right hand thumb up to F sharp. We'll have thumbs on F sharps. Then we'll cross the left hand four finger up to G, sh G sharp. We'll have four and two on G sharp, three fingers on A sharp, then we're going to cross our right hand thumb up to B and we'll have two and thumb on B, then we'll have thumb and two on C sharp, cross the left hand three finger up to D sharp, three fingers will be on D sharps, then we'll have two and four on E sharp, and thumb and five on F sharp. Come back down, two and four on E sharp, three fingers on D sharp, cross the left hand down to thumb down to uh, our uh, C sharp and we'll have thumb and two on C sharp. Then we'll have two and thumb on B. Then we're going to cross our right hand three finger down to A sharp and we'll have three fingers on A sharps. Then we're going to have four and two on G sharps. Cross the left hand thumb down to F sharp and we'll have thumbs on F sharps. Then we're going to cross the right hand four finger down to F, I mean to E sharp. We'll have two and four on E sharp. Then we'll have three and three on D sharp. Cross the left hand thumb down to C sharp. And we'll have thumb and two on C sharp. Then we have thumbs on B. Cross the right hand three finger down to A sharp. And then we'll have three fingers on A sharps. Then we have four and two on G sharps. And five and thumb on F sharp. If you want to try the fingering they recommend on the book, it's the same sort of thing. They just have you start on a different finger. They suggest starting on a two finger in the right hand, crossing after the four, and then crossing after the three, um, crossing after the four, crossing after the three. So you'd end up on a two finger, cross the three down, cross the four down, cross the three down, cross the four down. It's a little less awkward. Um, and then the left hand, they suggest starting with a four finger on the F sharp. So we end up on two finger again. Then we come back down to the thumb. Cross the thumb down. Cross the thumb down. Cross the thumb down. So that's their suggestion. But you could do it with the old fingering too. So it's kind of up to you. See what you think is, is easier for you to remember and easier for you to do. And that is... Parallel motion with the key of F sharp major.